Imagine living alone, on an island, for 18 years. This was the reality of Juana Maria, a Nicoleno Native American woman. She survived alone on San Nicolas Island off the coast of California. This is her story. A story of resilience. A story of the human spirit's will to survive. The year was 1835. It was a time of exploration and expansion, where the world seemed vast and full of untapped potential. The seas were the highways of the era, connecting distant lands and cultures. Ships like the one in our story, were the vessels of dreams and ambitions, carrying men to the farthest corners of the earth. Sea otter hunters, driven by the fur trade, arrived on San Nicolas. These hunters were rugged men, hardened by the relentless pursuit of valuable pelts. The fur trade was booming, and sea otter pelts were among the most prized. The hunters saw the island as a treasure trove, a place where they could make their fortunes. Conflict arose between the hunters and the native Nicoleno people. The Nicoleno had lived on San Nicolas for generations, their lives intertwined with the land and sea. They were not prepared for the sudden intrusion of the hunters, whose presence threatened their way of life. Tensions escalated quickly, leading to confrontations and violence. The clash of cultures was inevitable, as the hunters' greed clashed with the Nicoleno's desire to protect their home. In a tragic turn of events, most of the Nicoleno people boarded a ship, leaving the island behind. The decision to leave was not made lightly. It was a heart-wrenching choice, driven by the need to escape the escalating violence and ensure their survival. As they boarded the ship, they looked back at their island home, knowing they might never see it again. The sea, once a source of sustenance and life, now became a barrier between them and their past. Juana Maria, in a desperate attempt to find her young son, was left behind. The ship never returned. Juana Maria's story is one of heartbreak and resilience. She searched frantically for her son, hoping to reunite with him before the ship departed. But fate was cruel, and she was left alone on the island. Days turned into weeks and weeks into years, as she survived in isolation. Her story became a legend, a testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. The island, once a place of community and life, became a solitary world for Juana Maria, where every day was a struggle for survival. Her tale is a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made and the lives forever changed by the tides of history. Alone on San Nicolas I faced a daunting challenge. The island was both my sanctuary and my prison, a place where I had to rely on my wits and resilience to survive. The isolation was overwhelming at first but it forced me to confront my deepest fears and find strength within myself that I never knew existed. Survival. I adapted. Building a shelter from the materials around me was my first task. I used sticks, leaves and anything else I could find to create a place where I could feel somewhat safe. Starting a fire with flint and tinder became a daily ritual, a small victory that brought warmth and a sense of normalcy to my life. I learned to live off the land. Every day was a new lesson in nature's classroom. I studied the plants, learning which ones were edible and which ones were not. I discovered the medicinal properties of certain leaves and berries which helped me treat minor injuries and illnesses. The island provided, but only if I was willing to put in the effort to understand its secrets. Food came from the sea seals, shellfish and fish. I gathered roots and berries. Fishing in the shallow waters was a test of patience and skill. Each catch was a triumph, a testament to my growing ability to provide for myself. Cooking the fish over an open fire was a simple pleasure, a reminder of the comforts of home that I had left behind. I gathered roots and berries. Digging for roots with a sharpened stick was hard work, but it was necessary for my survival. The shellfish I collected from the shore were a valuable source of nutrition, and I learned to appreciate the bounty of the island in ways I never thought possible. Fresh water was scarce, found only in small seeps. Finding fresh water was one of my biggest challenges. The small seeps in the rocky areas were my lifeline, and I had to be careful not to overuse them. Every drop was precious and I learned to conserve water in ways I had never considered before. Each day was a struggle. The physical demands of survival were immense, but the mental and emotional challenges were even greater. The loneliness was a constant companion, and I had to find ways to keep my spirits up. I walked the deserted beaches, taking in the rugged beauty of the landscape and reminding myself that I was still alive, still fighting. But I found strength in the rhythm of the island. The sunsets were a daily reminder of the passage of time, a moment of peace in an otherwise chaotic existence. Meditating near the rocky coast helped me center myself and find a sense of calm amidst the turmoil. The island's rhythm became my own, 
and I learned to move with it rather than against it. In the whispers of the wind and the crash of the waves, the island spoke to me in its own language, and I learned to listen. The wind whispered secrets of survival, and the waves crashed with a power that reminded me of my own strength. In those moments, I felt a connection to the island that went beyond mere survival. It became a part of me, and I became a part of it. On the mainland, rumors spread of a woman living alone on San Nicolas. Some dismissed it as a myth, but others believed. Captain George Nidiver, a sea otter hunter, heard the stories. Intrigued, he set out to find the lone woman of San Nicolas. Life on the mainland was a stark contrast to the isolation of San Nicolas. The mainland was alive with activity, a bustling hub of culture and commerce, unlike the quiet solitude of the island. The Spanish mission with its grand architecture and vibrant community was a world away from the desolate shores Juana Maria had known. Juana Maria, now known by the Spanish name given to her, was a curiosity. She had lived alone on San Nicolas Island for 18 years, surviving against all odds. Her story spread quickly, and people were eager to meet the woman who had endured such an extraordinary ordeal. She became a symbol of resilience and strength, a living legend among the mission's inhabitants. People were fascinated by her story, her resilience. They gathered around her, listening intently as she recounted her experiences. The hardships she faced, the skills she developed to survive, and the profound loneliness she endured captivated everyone. Her presence brought a sense of wonder and admiration as she embodied the spirit of survival and human tenacity. She lived with the mission priest and his family, learning Spanish and experiencing a new way of life. The priest, a kind and patient man, took her under his wing, teaching her the language and customs of the mainland. His family welcomed her with open arms, providing her with a sense of belonging and community. Juana Maria adapted to her new surroundings, slowly but surely, finding joy in the simple pleasures of daily life at the mission. She participated in communal activities, learned new skills, and formed bonds with the people around her. The transition was not without its challenges, but Juana Maria's indomitable spirit saw her through. She embraced her new home, finding a place where she could finally rest and be at peace. Sadly, Juana Maria's time on the mainland was short. She contracted dysentery and died just seven weeks after leaving San Nicolas. Though her time among people was brief, her story resonated. She became a symbol of survival, a testament to the human spirit's ability to endure. Juana Maria's story, though touched by tragedy, is ultimately one of hope. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit can find a way. Her legacy lives on, inspiring us to face our own challenges with courage, resilience, and the unwavering will to survive.